I'm going to talk about the Little Mermaid movie. I saw it recently. I thought it was very good. Um, I was... It was like a late night sh uh, viewing. So it was like 9 p.m. I went in, you know, expecting to have a good time. And then I had a good time. I liked the way it looked a lot. I really liked the way it looked. I actually thought the actress that played uh, Ariel was kind of hot. So that was good. The music was good. I like the and I the visuals. The visuals were great because like they made the water look good and stuff. I don't know. I like you know I like a movie with good visuals like that. The music was good. They added some songs that weren't in the original movie, and I thought those were good. I was a little bit high at the time. That probably helped make the movie better. I'd watch it again. Really. I know a lot of people don't like the Disney remakes, but I, you know, I gotta be honest, I liked it a lot. It's kind of funny, they made, uh, they made the guy, like, Eric, the prince, they made his, like, I think in the original movie, it was like, his dad was there, and the, <clears throat> in the live action movie that they just made, it, and they made his mom, uh, they made it his mom, and they made her black, and they made up a thing about him getting, like, rescued or something, so it's like, that was kind of interesting, I guess. It's kind of weird, actually, having all the animals be, like, kind of realistic. And this was this point was brought up with, like, the Lion King live action. It's like, the animals are so realistic, it doesn't really look like they should be talking. But they are. So it's, like, weird, kind of, in that way. I'm kind of excited for them to make a Hercules live action, because if they make a Hercules live action, I think that would be, like, pretty good. Like, uh, especially because Danny DeVito, uh, I think, said he wanted to do it. So it's like, if Danny DeVito is in it, then it would be good. The music in that one's great, too. I don't know if I'm going to watch Elemental, to be honest. And this is a point a lot of people have, is you can just wait for it to be on uh, Disney+, Plus, so you don't have to watch it. And, like, I wanted to watch the Little Mermaid movie in theaters because of the visuals but in this music but i don't really care about seeing elemental in theaters especially because it looks it, it just looks generic it looks generic and kind of uh boring uninteresting i don't even know what it's about except for it's like oh there's elements and probably the one element that you know isn't supposed to be with the other element maybe has a crush or i don't know some stupid thing like that i don't even know if it's out Oh, wait, I think it is. I think it's bombing, like it's doing bad. Losing money. Those movies cost a lot to make, you know? I liked... And back to The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, I think my favorite part was kind of the island vibe they had going through the whole thing. They had, like, the island-sounding drums, you know? Kind of reggae style. It was... I mean, that, that makes it fun. It was... It, it made me feel like I was at the beach, you know? That's a good feeling to have. I don't know if I'd want to live on the beach, but it was good to be like, kind of like a, it was like a two hour vacation in the movie theater, you know? So yeah, it was a, it was a good time. So I guess, uh, you know, I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, it's my review. Thanks for listening.